We're going full big fisher here today, boy. Outer Banks, North Carolina, Oak for Coke. Tom Garstang, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> That's the expensive four fish we got this morning. Oh, we slept in. This is gonna be bait, but it's a good eating fish too, I mean. It's rising fast too. Woo -hoo. And now it's time to go back fishing. We brought a few pieces of walnut down with us from Virginia. Oak or croak? <laughs> Still can't say. Kingfish. Here we are, we're on the ferry now. Hour long ferry ride. The mainland out to Oak or Coke Island. Okra Coke. That's right. Okra Coke. North Carolina is where we're heading right now. Outer Banks, baby. Well, this is Okra Coke Island, boy. And we're down just before high tide to see if we can get a couple bites on the rods. Tom, you feeling lucky today? I am. Are you? Yeah, I am. I feel lucky every day. I just try to release when the rod is about there with my finger. The rod is so long and the weight is so heavy for a reason. You don't have to put a lot of ass behind it. You just really slowly accelerate. And that's like a light cast, you know? So, but you know what I mean? You don't whip it because yeah. it's got enough weight. You yeah. just lob it. I guess this is surf fishing. Seems like an all right gig to me. You set up a big heavy rod, drive it down the sand, sit back and wait. It's perfect. See some weather coming in behind me. Just heard some thunder. Seen one crack of lightning. This is what they call the outer banks. High tide's over, water's on the way out again. We're gonna pack it in and head back into town, do a few odds and ends, rest up, and be ready to go again for high tide, which is seven o'clock tonight. We're about to watch Tom climb a tree and run a chainsaw. Look at this guy. Is that your harness? No. Pretty much what's happening here and this whole uh, work exchange program here, work for stay. One of the jobs is to top this tree. It's starting to grow over the roof. Quite the job, but I mean, for this old crew right here, it's not about a flick. She'll, she'll be done in 20 minutes or less.
That quick tree job just granted us another night's sleep here in Ocracoke. Ocracoke. And now it's time to go back fishing. This place is paradise. No one here. Not a soul here. I had to pull the truck up. Yeah. up right there. There's kingfish, southern kingfish. Second catch, small founder. Let it go in this pool. Sweep it right back out. Again. Look at this right now. Absolutely magical. Outer Banks, North Carolina. Thumbs up from this guy. Uh, it's morning number two, waking up here in Oak Croak. Okra Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning number two, waking up here in Okra Coke, and it's uh, 6.30 on the button. Heading to the beach, and high tide is at 7.30, so we've got an hour to get set up. And we're both feeling pretty good about this morning. It's uh, blue skies, warm, a little bit of breeze. It's perfect, eh, Tommy? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Down here. We're going full big fisher here today, boy. Four rods in the water, cooler full of grub, sandwiches and whatnot. We're here for today. We're hauling in some beauties today, I hope. Look at him over there. Tom Garstang, ladies and gentlemen. You guys ever think about going to uh, Ocarco?
Just like that, we're fishing. Four lines in the water. Now we just sit back and uh, drink our morning coffee and wait for something to bite. Fish. Eater. Wondering whether we should keep them for bait or keep them to eat. Two kingfish in the hole. Nice. I know a lot of people out there love fishing. Also, a lot of people out there don't like fishing. It could be the perfect compromise. Everyone loves the beach. Sitting on the beach, sun tanning all day, swimming, eating food, whatever. You could be doing that and then also fishing at the same time, it's great. Sure, we're not catching a whole lot. We got two nice ones, but either way, it's a great beach pastime. Tom thinks he's got some. Add something? Snap me off. Snapped? Yeah. yeah. Probably the best one we got yet. We're back on the move again. That's our morning fish in the books. 1.30 in the afternoon. Time to go back and pay her dues for another <laughs> night. It's <laughs> the most expensive kingfish you've ever eaten. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. It's ex as expensive four fish we got this morning for sure. Go back and do four hours labor and pay for it. But uh, we're going to go back and uh, we brought a few pieces of walnuts. Walnut? We brought a few pieces of walnut down with us from Virginia and uh, Keith homeowner here, the hostel owner, he wants us to mill it up a few rough boards. Luckily it's rough boards. I don't know if he understands who he's got coming down here to run this chainsaw, but I mean, rough boards indeed is what he'll get. High tide is at 7, 7.30 tonight. 
Also tonight there is a uh, lunar eclipse, so that should be pretty interesting. Sure hold. Saw a spark fly off the saw and lo and behold we got a couple of 45 rounds in here. We were target shooting down in the creek bottom. I must have put a few in this tree. So I'll cut them clean in half. Our work is done for today, just like that. Mill up a few boards. We got somewhere to sleep tonight. Back to the beach. Evening fishing is six o'clock right now. High tide, 7.30ish. See if we can't catch a quick fish. Right, right there in that wash. Yeah. Nice kingfish, dude. Yeah, baby. Oh, you can just barely see it. The full moon is out there. It's rising fast too.
we slept in. We're 30 minutes till high tide. Boys and girls, it is Tuesday morning here in Oak Creek. <laughs> <Still can't say. laughs> We're getting ready to leave for fuck's sake. As I was saying, it's <laughs> Tuesday morning here in Oak Creek, and we drive home to Virginia tonight. Good day. What a beautiful morning it is! Last morning fishing. Yeah, I get used to this boy, I tell you. This is good living here. They're not really good bait. I'm gonna let them go. Uh, that's all she wrote, folks. Time to pack her stuff in. Head her back north, back to Virginia. <laughs>